everybody. I hope you're all having a fantastic day for this mornings or these lunch times or this evening's reading, depending on what time zone you're in. <laughs> I'm going to be looking at the Divine Masculine Energies and we can jump straight in with the first card. Let's move this a little bit. And by the way, if you would like a personal reading or Twin Flame Coaching, please check the description box below. We have the Four of Cups. So love is the question, the lesson and the challenge represented here. Will you give and accept messages of heartfelt caring or will your, you overanalyze emotions and let your worries make your relationships less than they could be? Preparation, deliberation, desiring, aligning. Maybe someone's overburdened, not sure what action to take, thinking it true. Thinking it through, how much more there is to come that we don't know about yet, though. There may be a touch of resistance in taking on this new legacy, or maybe it's not happened yet. Number four, for stability, it's a, few, it's a sure thing. Even if it's not feeling entirely real just yet, it's here to stay. Deserving of attention and action. We both know what needs to be done. Something's coming and we're not going to see it coming. Something's getting presented out of the blue. How did this happen? It was always there all along. Uh, releasing illusions that were there out of self-preservation. Don't open the oven door. Allow it to cook. Let it come to fruition in its own time. I'm silent due to going through dark night of the soul. I feel an emotion like a, an emotional roller coaster, and I don't have the strength to communicate with you right now. Well, I'm recognising you for who you are to me. I'm recognising you as my twin flame. And I'm really becoming awakened to the connection. There, there may still be a few parts of me that aren't quite yet there yet. And that's okay. That's all part of the process. So just honour the process. Don't worry about anything. Have compassion for yourself and for me as we go through our own processes and... Following on from that, we have the Six of Pentacles, which is reciprocated love. And it's only truly reciprocated love with your true twin flame. So if there's a pattern of your love being unreciprocated in maybe previous relationships, go in and heal that. Because that's what's going to enable us to go deeper. It's depth that's going to bring us together. Re-establishing equilibrium, reciprocation, coming back into balance. Trust your decisions. You know what's best for you. I'll be returning something to you. Emotional debts paid. I'm desiring and planning. I have this feeling of right and wrong. Understanding how to balance the scales. Balance being res restored. Balance and fairness. You're going to get the love that you deserve, and so am I. Our relationship, our, our connection, is enjoying an overall sense of good health, whatever stage we're at, because it doesn't lack in mutual love, understanding and security. Happiness, generosity, fairness and balance is coming to our relationship. You're giving into the connection and receiving what is due. We are always on the same page. When it comes to emotions... That you'll find that I'll be very generous when it comes to love and affection. Much is to be gained by deepening our connection at this time. There is enough of a foundation in love to move forward to the next step in our connection. We're growing in all areas. Atlantis, rapid development, excellent success. So there is so much growth going on in right now in our union. There's a lot of healing going on and a lot of expansion. There's all these tendrils that are growing, all these connections that are being made to our soul family, to the people around us. Everyone around us is going to be transformed. King of Cups, yeah, I'm moving into a place of deeper emotional mastery at this time and it's okay to allow me to expand in this area 
but you should really be thrilled about this and be in touch with your blessings. There's a change of circumstances coming or maybe appreciating what's there, what's choosing even more. Loving the moment but still moving forward. Emotional maturity, reward, satisfaction, contentment, fulfilment, having something feel complete, spiritual mastery, mastery of emotions. I'm getting the ability to stay centered and connected with emotional intelligence and understanding, understanding the connection, the union, the intimacy, not in a rush. There's no lack here. I'm in love, this is the water element. I might not be showing my emotions, but I'm totally in love. You make my heart throb. There's so much love here that for a, a, a time I thought I was ill. How could anyone experience this much love and be normal? I'm acknowledging your mind. It will show my actions. I'm totally enamoured. I'm on my knees. I want to fall at your feet. I'm so in goddamn love. There's a calm and harmonious time coming between us. We will know how to resolve everything that comes up, all the upsets and challenges in a healthy manner and resolve issues quickly and peacefully. I'm making my way towards you. I haven't apologised because I don't feel deserving of your forgiveness. I haven't been able to forgive myself for how I treated you. Yeah, well, this is all stuff that's on the way out. This is all stuff, stuff that's being released. It's okay to let go of the old version of yourself and the old version of me, because we're coming in, we're coming, but we're coming to, towards each other in a renewed, high frequency, energy of love, and that feels great. Yeah, so it's like we're currently in training for something. We're in a training ground right now, and that's okay. We'll be able to handle anything. That comes our way, however much it's amplified by our togetherness. There's change coming, energetic shifts against all the odds. Oh, I really want you, you're mine. We're both getting ready to bring our best efforts to the game. Put your best forward, give as good as you can. Sometimes we may have difficult times in order to strengthen and gain result. Or relationships are tested. And it's likely you've already felt the full force of that. Avoid running away and shutting down if I challenge you in any way. We may be entering a new phase of our journey and the parameters have not yet been established. Ponder the ways the connection in, is being tested and focus your attention to meeting challenges head on in a balanced way. We want to come into union with open arms and an open heart. We'll get there when we're truly ready. So just choose to be ready. Tell the divine. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, ready for this. Ready for union. Ready to fall in love for the last time. To step out into eternity together. Nobody in the entire universe for the whole of eternity. For me, but you. Oh, spiritual marriage. It's going to be a coming together of hearts and minds. It's going to feel, it's going to feel fantastic. Waves and waves of love and then grounding into that. New belief systems, new world view with only our heart and soul for guidance. We have every chance to go the distance. We have the structure and security to go after what we always wanted, one another. You'll be going after your dream with your beloved because it's a shared dream and together we're manifesting one another. We're manifesting value, an effortless, easy relationship, two equal parts, success, successful together, doing life purpose together, living one life together, passionately encouraging each other. We have the same values. It could be an impending wedding. Number five again for change. And things ain't finished. They're continuing to change. Great sex. Mystical sex. 
is going to be incredible. You're winning when you're not even trying. We won't be able to imagine life without each other. We're best friends as well as romantic partners. We share meaningful experiences. We're meant to go after this dream together. We share values. We'll go the distance. We won't want anyone else but each other. Commitment. A deepening in, our, in your security and in your life is happening. It's depth that's going to bring us together. A commitment. This commitment will make you feel secure. This is the type of the relationship where we both meet to discover who you really are. And this is very good, especially if commitment is important to you. I write you messages and then delete them because I just don't know what to say. I am so sorry because I know that my sonics is hurting you. I'm healing and trying to find my strength to be honest with you about how I truly feel. It's okay. There's love in the silence. We're both experiencing a bit of a moment of pause at the moment and that's okay. We're just finalising the last little pieces before sliding into a harmonious union in a way that's easy, smooth, natural and effortless. You choose for a harmonious union to be smooth, easy, natural and effortless. That's how love should be. That's how love itself is. So surrender yourself. Surrender everything to love itself. Okay, everybody. I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.